Hello friends, you are watching Android Tech Solutions and today in this video I am show you how can you install cockpit in your EC2 instance. Okay, So I am going to launch a Red Hat instance and in that Red Hat instance I am going to install cockpit. Okay, So cockpit is basically a GUI based tool which is used to manage your instance. Okay, So first of all you have to log into the console then just click on services, EC2 and here just click on launch instance and here I'll choose Red Hat Enterprise Linux and I'll choose uh, I'll keep these things default and I'll just click on review and launch and here I'll just create a new key pair and I'll just click on launch instance And our instance has been launched and I'll just name this instance as Red Hat. And I'll just connect it via PuTTY. So I'll just open PuTTY Gen to convert the PEM file to PPK. Uh, this is the PEM file. And I'll just save it as redhat.ppk and then I'll just simply open putty and first of all we need the public IP address of the instance I'll just copy paste the public IP then you have to go to connections SSH auth and here, here you have to load the private key and this is the private key redhat.ppk and I'll just open it And here I'll just log in as EC2 user. Okay, I'm logged into the instance. And now I'll just run sudo su to become the root user. I'll just change the font. Okay. Now I'll just install cockpit. You can just simply run this command yum install cockpit. By default in Red Hat 8, in, in the repository of Red Hat 8, cockpit is already present. So no additional repository we have to uh, install. Like in RHEL 7, we used to install EPL release to install cockpit. But in Red Hat 8, cockpit is in the base repository. After that, we have to just uh, start the service of cockpit. And enable it for the boot time and we'll just set the service and then we'll just set the root password to connect to the dashboard and now we'll try to access the dashboard so I'll just copy this IP address and cockpit works on port number 9090 so we have to open port number 9090 in our security group I'll just click on inbound edit add rule 9090 and here I'll set anywhere and I'll just save this and here I'll specify the port number Okay, we are able to connect to it and you have to also mention HTTPS okay? and the port number. Port number is 9090 and here just click on advance and then just click on proceed.
and here is the beautiful dashboard of Red Hat cockpit and here you have to give the username root and the password of root and here you can completely monitor instance here you can see CPU core we have one CPU core and here you can see the CPU utilization next you have the memory utilization the RAM utilization disk input outputs network and traffic so everything you can monitor from here itself okay and you can get the information of your instance like the hardware which it, it is using machine ID operating system uh, everything you can get it from here host name even you can change the post host name also from here itself Okay, system date even you can start or uh, start or stop the instance from here itself then you have logs so here you can see the system logs as well you can filter the logs and you can filter the uh, logs in terms of last seven days or last 28 24 hours then you have networking so here you will get networking logs the network logs and you will see the complete network uh, over here here you can see I have a network interface ETH0 the IP address okay if you are going to create a bridge or anything from here itself I can create then we have accounts so from here itself we can add a user okay we can create user from here itself we can set password everything we can do from here itself like the user management we can do from here next we have services and from here we can see what are the services running exited or inactive and we have application it says no applications installed and the best part which I like about the cockpit is you will get the terminal access if I just click on terminal so you have got the terminal access you can do all your stuff from here itself okay you can manage your SE Linux also by default SE Linux is uh, enforcing okay you can turn on or off from here itself okay so using a cockpit you can completely monitor your instance okay you can monitor your instance and you can SSH to the instance securely without using the SSH keys also okay so thank you guys for watching this video do like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel for more amazing tutorials